Chloe Evans is a 26-year-old woman who has been grieving the death of her three-month-old baby boy, which happened unexpectedly. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose Like and share this video with your friends. The distraught mother described her baby Mackenzie Brian Evans as perfectly healthy. The three-month-old died on December 9, 2021, and Evans opened up about what it was like to lose her child without knowing what took his life. Evans was enjoying the first three months of her newborn's life, and just like she had done every night, she put her baby down to sleep. She woke up to him not breathing. Evans was confused and in shock. She called an ambulance, and when they performed CPR, Mackenzie Bryan was announced dead. He was really healthy, and he went to bed, and I just couldn't get over it the next day, she expressed. Evans spent years trying to process her child's death, especially because she felt he died for no reason. As she searched for answers, she relied on medical emergency services and mental health support facilities. Evans did not give up on getting to the bottom of her son's death. She understood the pain of losing a child, but seeking closure was even more painful. I wouldn't want another parent to go through what I've gone through, expressed Evans. Chloe Evans painfully buried her son with no answers. Evans had to go through the pain of waiting a month before she could bury her son. Mackenzie Bryan was eventually buried on January 10th, 2022, and the mother was forced to let go of her child without answers. During her time of grief, Evans tried to make use of multiple resources to get support. She confessed that she and her family had good and bad days, but wished she had more support from medical facilities. Evans admitted that she had seen a few general practitioners, GP, and relied on a number of mental health helplines. But the support I've had hasn't been the best, I've had to wait nearly two years to see a counselor face to face, she added. The mother of two wished she had had more opportunities to speak to counselors and have a safe space where she could be open about her feelings. Even though she was not completely satisfied with the medical assistance she received, Evans appreciated the immense support from her grandparents. Although life has not been easy without her son, Evans is still grateful for the short time she had with her son. He will remain in our hearts forever, said the mother of two. She also has a seven-year-old that paid tribute to his little sibling and said, Good night, gorgeous brother. Two years later, Chloe Evans finally learns the cause of her son's death. Evans spent two years not knowing what took her son's life. But on June 6, 2023, a post-mortem examination revealed that there was no medical explanation for why Mackenzie Bryan died. Mackenzie Bryan's cause of death was listed as Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, SIDS, also known as a cot death that is usually unexpected and unexplained, as it can happen to any healthy baby. Sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, is every parent's fear. It makes it difficult to determine the cause of death because it usually affects infants before six months and happens in their sleep. Unfortunately, SIDS happens more often than parents would like it to. According to U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 3,400 deaths occur from it each year. Researchers have tried to understand how SIDS happens and have speculated that the syndrome may result due to a defect in the part of the brain that controls sleep and breathing. New evidence has come up to support this theory. Researchers have compared babies who survived SIDS and those who were victims of it and discovered that children who died had low levels of an enzyme called butyrylcholinesterase, BICHI. Children with a low level of BICHI are more at risk because it makes it difficult for them to wake up when they have problems breathing. In a normal situation, when babies struggle to breathe, they're reportedly usually on tummies and cry in response to the discomfort. The unexplained syndrome haunts multiple parents, and many doctors have advised new parents to lay their babies on their backs and ensure that no toys are around them. Parents are also asked to avoid heavy blankets that would overheat the children and impact their ability to breathe. Although medical professionals do their best to give parents tips to save their children from SIDS, most of it is still uncontrollable, but on a positive note, researchers' findings on BCG allow them to identify the possibilities of babies that could be victims of SIDS before anything tragic happens. 